Hello and welcome guys, my name is Thomas and in this little video I'm going to show you a little trick you can do in either Screen or Tmux in order to have multiple participants in a SSH session so that you have sort of a team viewer like effect in your SSH session. And that is quite nifty if you either want to show someone over the network or over the internet on how to do stuff or if you want, you know, to be watched or if you want to be, you know, uh, supervised by someone, this is really neat because, yeah, the other one can interact with you and he can, of course, see what you're doing, which is why this is so helpful and so good. Okay, so now what are the prereq prerequisites that we need for this? Well, first of all, we, we need either Screen or Tmux installed, and either one of those definitely is. So if Screen's not installed or Tmux not installed, please just install one of those too. Now, in Debian and Ubuntu, you can use apt-get, and uh, in CentOS and Fedora, you can use yum, and in Arch Linux, you can use uh, basically pacman s in order to to do that but in this case i've already installed those tools and if you want to learn more about tmux i'd encourage you to watch my other video about tmux first okay so now i want to start a tmux session and as we already know from the other video i've done this is a terminal multiplexer and we can attach and detach from and to a session and this is this is the trick, basically. So imagine we launch a Tmux session on the local side, and now I want to connect uh, via SSH onto that computer. In this case, it's my own computer, so I can say SSH localhost, enter in my password. And because I'm in the same user locally as I am <laughs> remotely right now, um, yeah, as you can see, I'm in an SSH session right now. And yes, um, the one thing, a uh, way I can identify this is that my login shell is still bash, where I have this prompt, but my regular shell that I use is fish, or that I'm trying out right now. So we can see that something changed, and we're actually in an SSH session right now. Now what can we do? Well, we've launched here a Tmux session, and if you've attended the other little video I've made, uh, well, you will know that we, can that we can attach ourselves to this session. So we can type in Tmux I, or Tmux Attach, and boom, there we go. Well, this is another broken session that I did beforehand, before I did this version of the screencast, but trust me, this will work out quite, ni quite nice. So, yeah, we will close this, and we will probably uh, need to kill all Tmux, and try that again. I'm a fan of, uh, you know, little bloopers <laughs> inside of a video because that makes life interesting, right? Okay, and as you can see, now it works. Well, uh, what we can do right now is if I put those windows under each other, uh, well, we can see the following. If I type something, it is synchronous. Oh, yes. And yeah, uh, you can basically imagine that if someone is going to type uh, something in, it's very much synchronous to what he is doing on his side. So if you don't have a huge lag between uh, those two computers, you can actually work in almost real time on the other system together and see what the other one's doing. And because this is text, even a, even a 56K modem is able to transmit these data. And yeah, so we basically go ahead and detach from the session. That is very important. If your partner detaches now from the session, you really need to detach. You don't want to go ahead and close the other's uh, TMAX session because that would mean that the session is definitely closed if you type an exit. That would mean the session is closed and everything you've just done in Tmux is basically also gone. So you need to hit Control B D in order to detach. And here we go. There we have it. We had we are detached. Now we can exit out of that SSH connection and we're back at home. Uh, so to say. Okay, now I want to show you the same with screen. We basically go ahead and launch a screen. And then we go ahead 
and connect to our SSH again. And now we need to tap in screen dash X in order to connect to the session. We do basically the same thing. And now move the window a bit, but don't worry. Okay, and this is remote input. And of course, in this side, uh, you can maybe see down here, this is local input. So as we, if we, as we can see, we have the same effect, two different programs. I just prefer TMUX, but whatever you do, it's a really nice trick to know and have fun uh, doing your teamwork inside of an SSH session. So see you in a new video and goodbye.